<coughs> well, hello there. Do you have time to talk to our Lord and Savior, Grian? Well, you are in luck, because this man is all about making conflict, wars, profit, and the barge. Uh, what? Hi guys, and today, we're going to talk about the alternate history of Hermitcraft. If you don't know Hermitcraft, I mean seriously, you probably already know, right? Right. Anyway, this is an SMP server which has their own government, businesses, and their own currency. In the center of the server, or their capital, is located in the middle, called the Shopping District, which is being governed and ruled by Mayor Scar. The Shopping District houses many businesses that the Hermits can earn money from, which in this case, is Diamonds. Aww, yeah. One of these businesses is the Barge, owned by Grian, which is like a big shopping mall in the district that provides a lot of items in its stores. But, Grian's Barge will have an upcoming competitor, Pacific, founded by Mumbo and Iskal, which is like a business empire that will provide large quantity of items that are fully automated similar to Season 6 Sahara. This will challenge the bar's dominance in the shopping district. But, in your alternate history of Hermitcraft, what if? What if the barge became a corporate empire? What if Grian decided, you know what? Let's expand the barge. Um, maybe not like that. But more like this. In this episode of Alternate History of Hermitcraft, we're going to discuss this and divide them into three parts. The beginning, effect, and the aftermath. But first, according to my shameful YouTube plugging of analytics, a lot of you are actually not subscribed. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more. You can always unsubscribe, but please don't. Anyways, enjoy the video. In your alternate timeline, after the turf wars were concluded, and the server is now at relative peace, Grian decided to focus his attention in expanding the barge and its profits. He wanted to preserve the dominance of the barge as a place for hermits to buy all their things. But this dominance is being challenged by the other hermits, who are currently building their own large businesses. First up, Aquitown. Founded by Mayor Scar and his assistant, B Dubs, who are currently building in the strategic peninsula north of the shopping district. It houses grand builds and many shops. This serves as a commercial hub for hermits to buy all their necessities in Aquitown while being engaged in its beautiful cityscape. But Aquitown is not only the competitor of the barge, their other competitor is called Pacific, founded by Mumbo and Isco, located just right outside the shopping district. They are making an automatic shopping mall that is similar to Season 6 Sahara, which Grian used to be part of. The unique take of these new businesses will threaten the barge dominance in the shopping district. But Grian will definitely not go down without a fight. With other businesses emerging, and the competition is getting tough, Grian decided to take on these emerging businesses head to head by reforming and expanding the barge into a large corporate empire. He named his company as the Big Barge, and he invited Impulse to join him in the company as his right hand man in leading the business. With the foundation of the Big Barge, Grian set its eyes in expanding his business by buying out the smaller shops around the barge and claiming it as part of his company. He reinvested the diamonds he earned from the barge and acquired smaller shops and taking them in his company. With Grian's acquisitions, he now has his own business hub that can compete with the scale of Aquitown. But, Despite the big barge's expansion, 
is still nowhere near as tall and automated as the Pacific with its bank and high-rise building. The Pacific's superior automation and elegant design made it more appealing for the hermits to buy from. And so, with this disadvantage, Grian teamed up with Impulse to execute their plan of making the hermits know to shop in the barge. Their plan was to build a high-rise tower in Grian's plot in Aquitown that is tall enough to catch the attention of the hermits flying by and market the barge to always have stock in their stores. Grian and Impulse also made a cunning move by buying out other shops and competition to make the barge as only place to have stock. With this brilliant move, this made the hermits to shop more in the barge. Grian and his company now dominate and have the monopoly of sales from the large variety of products they are offering through its many shops. This made Grian and Impulse one of the most richest hermits on Hermitcraft. But this success made Scar to use his mayoral powers to take action and end this monopoly once and for all. With the dominance of Grian's barge, Mira Scar set out to take his seat on the diamond throne and impose an ordinance that will affect all businesses, especially Grian's empire, and destroy the monopoly. He made an ordinance to redistribute the wealth from the richest hermits to the poor, due to some rich hermits hoarding the money they got from their own shops. Although this sounded genuine, these ordinances hurt a lot of the rich hermits on the server, especially Grian and his company. He then set out to Mayor Scar to revoke his ordinance, but to Grian's surprise, Mayor Scar rejected. And so, Grian set up a plot together with the religious hermits on Hermitcraft to altogether reject the ordinance and refuse to pay taxes for the government. He formed a coalition to unite together to force Scar to revoke his ordinance or they will force Mayor Scar to step down from his throne. This made Mayor Scar to alert all the hermits about this attempt and warn the other hermits to not shop from the coalition and only shop from the trusted government partner stores like Aquitown and Pacific. With the shopping district tippling into corporate wars, the fate of the server is left unknown. But hey, this is only a theory, an alternate universe theory. So, what do you think will happen next in this alternate history? Grian's coalition winning or the government? Let me know and share your ideas in the comments down below. Anyway, this is Arasaur, and thank you for watching. Alert History of Hermitcraft. Bye! Aww, yeah.